Way 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass is coming soon, and today I'll be talking about 10 tracks I'd like to see get added to it. Anyways, there will definitely be a part 2 of this in the near future, because there are a lot of dope tracks that could have fit into one video, so let's get started. First, we got N64 Bowser's Castle. It's an OG, it had its debut in Mario Kart 64, and made an appearance in Mario Kart Wii, and everything about it is so perfect. You got the thwomps to dodge, tower to race up, and then you end up driving on top of the castle wall. It's a pretty good one that I'd like to see come back. Also, I'm showing the Wii version of this track just because I don't have my N64 with me and the Wii version is close to the original. Next, we got DK Summit and I had to add it because it's one of the best winter themed courses in my opinion. There's just so much going on on here. You get shot out of a cannon and then you go through a ramp followed by a bunch of bumps you can do tricks off. The main highlight of this track though is making sharp turns without falling into a canyon and of course the double ramp you can go back and forth on. Next off, we have Woohoo Loop. I'm playing this track on a Mario Kart Wii mod that added it into the game because I don't know how to capture gameplay for my 3DS. But anyway, this is one of the coolest tracks Nintendo has ever made. Remember Wii Sports Resorts? The OG game that takes place on a volcano island? Well, this track takes that island and turns it into a raceway for Mario Kart. Truly one of the best references to another game Nintendo has done, and I'd like to see it in HD on the Nintendo Switch. Next, we got Daisy Cruiser, a track that takes place on a cruise ship, which is a really unique idea. First, you go on top of the cruise ship, and then you go inside the cruise ship to a large dining room, and it's pretty dope. Of course, there is what looks like to be an engine room you can go into, which makes this track feel more like a cruise ship. I'd really like to see it come back, and maybe Nintendo could even add more rooms to explore in it. Next, we have the absolute goat of Mario Kart Wii tracks, Rainbow Road. When I hear Rainbow Road, this is the Rainbow Road that I think of, a track that takes place in outer space. What I really like about this is all the twists and turns, as well as all the jumps and ramps. What makes this track even more memorable are the star bits in it, a clear reference to Super Mario Galaxy, one of my favorite games of all time. This is an amazing and nostalgic track that I'd like to see come to Nintendo Switch. Another track I'd like to see is Koopa Cape, a track that puts you in a giant tube underwater and forces you to dodge electric shocks while driving very fast on top of flowing water. What makes this especially cool are the Koopa Shell tunnels as well as the fact you can literally view the ocean from inside a clear pipe. It's just a really awesome track with some amazing visuals and I'd like to see it again. Next up is Delfino Square, a track originally from Mario Kart DS and later put on Wii. It is a direct reference to Super Mario Sunshine, one of the best video games ever made. In this track you go through a village followed by a dock and you go across a bridge that goes up and down so you never know what happens until you actually get there. This is an amazing track, so I want to see it again, plus we need more Super Mario Sunshine references and other Mario games. We also have to have Waluigi Stadium from Mario Kart Double Dash. Personally, I really like the dirt roads and all the bumps in this, plus the piranha plant section is pretty unique. Everything about this track is just fun to play through, and I'd like to see it put on Switch. Next up is Toad's Factory from the Nintendo Wii. This track is just great, it's based off a of factory, and some really unique elements were added here, such as crushing plates you have to dodge, conveyor belts on tracks, as well as this really cool mud section where you have to predict where the bulldozers are going in order to hit the speed boosts. Plus, the factory looks like a castle, and that's pretty dope. Plus, the music on this track is a bop. Finally, we got Dino Dino Jungle on the GameCube. This track takes place in what appears to be a Jurassic setting where you go underneath a giant dinosaur and through a cave with geysers you have to dodge. Pterodactyls also fly around this course and the smiling palm trees just make it more charming. This is definitely a track I'd like to see redone. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Comment down below what other tracks you'd like to see added and I'll pin the comment that I agree with the most. I will also be making a part 2, so subscribe if you want to see that. I'll be making some more dope content, so thank you for sticking till the end, and as always, peace out.